Well, it's part two of our two night special event here on 12 News Women Fighting Back. Last night, we showed you how to fight off an attacker. Take a look. And of course, that's video of me during a women's self defense class. That poor man. Uh, tonight, <laughs> we're zeroing in on Valley Moms locked and loaded. Here's an exclusive, up close look at how some women are fighting back. Okay, let's just talk about proper technique real quick. These are classes designed specifically for women. We were finding that women weren't having good experiences going to the range with their boyfriends or husbands, and I totally understand that. Women teaching other women how to shoot firearms, that sounds like a great idea. And she's finding more Valley moms and wives are getting locked and loaded to protect themselves and their families. What is the benefit of being taught by a woman? Well, I think we communicate on the same level. You know, we speak the same language. We don't assume anything. So it's gonna get loud now. We're going hot. It's a skill none of them ever wants to put to use, but if they have to, they're ready. When it comes to safety, how does knowing how to operate a handgun give you confidence? When it comes to safety, you don't have time to think. Think about how hard you had to think about pulling that trigger and keeping everything in was my hands correct. Mm -hmm. You don't have time to do that if it's in a self-defense situation. Is this class for any woman? Absolutely. One more shot, Karibe. That was awesome. I just love the aspect of of shooting and the thrill of it, the empowerment of it. So many women doubt themselves. Awesome. And I say, look at me, I'm not very big. You know, I'm no different from you. If I can do it, anybody can. Shooting is not only empowering them as individuals, but also bringing them closer together. Do you have a lot of friends in this shooting world? Oh yeah, a lot, a lot. You, you meet a bunch out here and a lot of them, you only see them when you're out here at the range, but when you do, it's like, you know, like you just saw them yesterday. They're great people. That was your second one. Unless were you aiming down that area? No, I was oh, not okay. aiming in that area. <laughs> no. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. I know your strengths and your weaknesses because I have the same ones compared to men is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can show them the girl way to shoot. Did you hear that ding? Yeah. Ooh, you did it. I hit that? I thought you said you weren't going to hit that. <laughs> You're still in the center. Is it really? Yeah. Um, wow, OK. All right, deep so breath. So practice makes perfect. You have to get out there. You have to practice so it's second nature. So you just pick it up and go. And hope that you never and have hope that to you use never it. have to. I, I've never had to. I've never come close. And that's how I'm going to keep it. All right, that's me right there. <laughs> I'll tell you, there's nothing girly about the way those women shoot, no, that's for sure. But I love the whole idea of women helping women. Yeah, I do, because I think a lot of women are intimidated right. uh, by firearms or maybe even just have fear. And so these women understand that, they get that, so they really know kind of how to ease you into it. We started off with a fake gun to begin with, and then eventually, obviously, you saw that I got the real deal and I actually made a shot. I know, your target actually looked pretty good. Surprisingly, yeah. So these women, they're impressive. They're competitive shooters. They've gone all over the world competing, and they hold multiple uh, national titles. All right. <laughs> so the real deal. <laughs> Don't mess with Annie Oakley. Uh, yeah. <laughs>